What up, everybody, and welcome to Baz on Blades. My name is Baz, and I talk about blades. And today, we're going to talk about a couple of blades. We're going to do an unboxing featuring some product from Steel Wheel Knives. This is a fairly big box. I can't get my camera up high enough to accommodate the whole thing in the frame. But trust me, it's a, it's very much a box, okay? Um, first, I want to say thank you to Polina at Steel Wheel Knives. Uh, there's not many companies that pay attention to small YouTube channels. And I'm sitting around 1,700 subs and maybe 182,000 views. And to me, that seems huge uh, because I didn't figure anybody would want to listen to me talk about knives. But to the manufacturers, that's not so good. Um, so I typically, I don't approach uh, manufacturers looking for um, sample stock. You know, they send out sample stock to reviewers that have, um, you know, a large enough channel and they review them and then they get to keep them or they can give them away or whatever. And, uh, oh, by the way, we use that broken skull. There you go. Uh, still loving that knife. Loving it, guys. All right, let's see what we got from Steel Wheel. Now, of course, I already know. Uh, we got some paper. And we've got a couple of knives. Now, I chose um, to go with two knives for an initial review. Let me see what we got here. All right, there is a little pamphlet here. Let's get this box out of the way. There is a little pamphlet here showcasing uh, the more popular steel wheel uh, models. And you know, guys, steel wheel uh, has been a major mover and shaker on the uh, budget or in the budget arena. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, this is sort of a spurt of, of the moment video. But uh, they made a big impact with the cut jack and the modus. And I've reviewed both of those. Uh, I was fortunate enough to receive as a gift a mini cut jack from a viewer. And, um, you know, I really like those knives, even though I have to say I'm not a fan of FRN handled knives. Um, that's why I don't own many, many Spyderco models. Um, I'm not a fan of that, but I like those knives. They're very well made. Um, if they did them, even as a Chinese version with G10, uh, with milled liners, I, yeah, those would be a winners and add a single row steel bearing set to the pivot and sell them for $15 more and they'd be great because they're, they're awesome, awesome designs, guys. Um, but anyway, let's see what we've got here. We've got the F45 Intrigue. That is the F45 15. And what that designates is there's a knife in this box because that's a whole bunch of numbers and stuff. All right, let's see what we got. Now what we've got here is the typical steel wheel product information. This is part of the Urban Series. And uh, I believe that Urban Series is just, it's, it's pretty much designed exclusively as uh, EDC type of carry, okay? Uh, we've got this same old bubble wrap pouch. It's not just a piece of bubble wrap, it is a pouch, and I like those. And uh, let's see, we'll close this back down. Ah, oh, crap. How many flaps do you need on a box? All right, we will slip it back in the slippy do. And we'll use that as our background. Now, what we've got here is the Intrigue, the full-size Intrigue. And I already see something I'm disappointed in, uh, even though the way they did it doesn't look bad. And I'm going to tell you right now, in the closed position, it feels pretty solid, guys. I haven't even opened this knife yet. It feels pretty solid. Um, what was disappointing me is the regular Intrigue uh in gray comes with the blue backspacers, but this is the newer, the black uh, blade finish model in D2, of course. So they've blacked out all the hardware. And I gotta tell you guys, <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Okay, that that flip, first flip, was so good and smooth, I had to check to make sure that the pivot wasn't loose. That thing flips so good, guys. Uh, you know that some of these steel wheels have sort of a soft detent. And that's just, you know, that's, honestly, that's just manufacturing on a budget liner lock. They're not all going to 100% be awesome. That's, I mean, that's just the way it is at this price point. But this is super smooth. It is smoother than any of mine or any of the ones that came through my um, my channel that were loaners, mostly from LTK, I believe. Wow, that looks awesome, guys. What do you think about the black with the gray? You know, like I said, I was hoping they'd have the blue, but uh, this really, really fits this knife, and it is the perfect size. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to spend some time with this girl right here. Good centering too. That looks awesome. That looks awesome. All right, we'll set that intrigue. Uh, actually, let's yeah, we'll set it to the side. We'll bring in this next model. And you know, you guys, you know, I do some uh, fixed blade stuff here on the channel. I'm not an outdoorsman, uh, survivalist, bushcrafting expert, so I don't review out or um, fixed blade knives out in the field um, I'm more interested in a style of fixed blade a compact aggressive uh, ergonomic what I consider to be a small hideout knife um, I like to carry a small fixed blade on my weak side opposite of my pistol when I'm carrying my pistol and use it as a get off me knife in, so, in case somebody goes after my pistol in the holster and I have to retain it uh, with my, my strong side hand, then I can pull a fixed blade with my weak size hand and stick it right in them and get them off of me. I don't have to worry about opening the knife uh, because thinking you're gonna get an, a folder open in the heat of the moment when you're wrestling some with somebody over your gun in your life, I'm not gonna count on that. So, I like small fixed blades, and what we've got here is the sensor from uh, Steel Wheel. And uh, let's see here what we've got. The sensor, well that blade doesn't look like it cut anything. It just looks like it's printed on a piece of cardboard. Well, what the hell? Alright, here we go. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Mmm, I didn't, you know, from the photos, I didn't know if I would like this thumb choil because the radius is so tight on it and it's, uh, you know, it's it's really an aggressive radius for a thumb ramp, guys. Um, I didn't know if I would like that. But they've got some jimping in here and it is extremely deep jimping. It's aggressive, guys. That, there is no way your thumb's going to slip out of that. Yeah, good in a reverse grip. It's a pistol grip side of, uh, kind of grip here. And you've got this, um, let's call this a drop point blade. And what it reminds me of, not the same blade shape, uh, but what this reminds me of is my, um, my Crawford Casper, my custom Casper folder. And it's the folding fighter design that I... I judge everything by, and I know this is not a folder, but dad gum that that is some aggressive jumping. That is super aggressive. Uh, there was going to be people that would complain this knife is the jumping's too aggressive. Yeah, I can see that. There's going to be people that would complain about that, but for its intended purpose of locking your hand in. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Let's set this thing aside because I don't want this video to be an hour and a half long. And we'll pull out some accessories. And what we've got here is a, this is an injection molded sheath. Those of you familiar with the sheaths that come with the, uh, uh, the CRKT Obaki, uh, that type of sheath, it's exactly, exactly like that. Let's see... Oh, that's just the barest minimum of any play in it, guys. It's not 
you can hear it on the camera probably, but it's not loud or anything. And so, oh, damn. That is awesome. When you push off on this sheet, you literally go straight into that choil. That's awesome, guys. That is awesome. Whether they intended that such a perfect juncture there or not, that is awesome. Um, wow. That's, that's pretty doggone cool, guys. The, really only the bad part about it for some people would be uh, it's got FRN scales on it. They are aggressively uh, textured and sort of, I think it's a diamond pattern texture, guys. Like you would see uh, on the grips or stocks of a rifle almost. I can't get over how aggressive this, I'm not joking, guys. That is some aggressive jumping and it is awesome. It is awesome. Oh, right there. Right there, guys. Oh my goodness. All right, what we got over here? So, looks like we got a tech lock. Uh, it's a push button type of tech lock to unlock the safety there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know if those are actually made by Tech Lock or not, but I like this design because you get the push button to open instead of having to come down here uh, to your wings to, to get them to clip and your secondary lock being down here. Everything is up top where if it was on your belt, you would reach straight down to the top of it. So you can just move that button over into a lock position. You can't depress it anymore. And it seems to be just as well built as a regular tech lock, guys. Yeah, that's a pretty big latching surface. I'm sorry, I'm out of the frame here, guys. That's a pretty good latching surface there. All right. Okay, let's clean up some mass. And there is some hardware in here also, guys. So complete package there with this uh, little steel wheel fixed blade. The sensor, 1332 sensor. Uh, these are available in all black like this or with the satin blade uh, in this profile. And there is a recurve profile, I think. Uh, but since I can't stand recurves, I didn't, didn't even look at it. It made my head hurt. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know. Do I like this more? Or do I like this more? Hmm. I got to tell you, this being the absolute smoothest uh, of this series of... Uh, steel wheel folder that I have felt so far. I mean, really, really smooth on the pivot. Really smooth. Yeah, really smooth, guys. And these are on, these aren't on bearings. They're on bushings on phosphor bronze. This is straight out of the box with no oil or anything. Fantastic, fantastic. Which of these do I like more, guys? And I'm going to tell you why I'm asking. Because I'm going to give one of them away. Um, and I want you guys to do me a favor. I want you to go over to Steel Wheels Instagram page. And like their page. And leave a comment saying, Baz on Blades sent me. So they'll know that you guys are seeing this stuff. And, uh, of course, I'm going to do some uh, in-depth reviews on both of these uh, on this fixed blade I might step out in front of the camera so I can demonstrate how uh, awesome I am of a, a knife fighter um, I have seen both uh, Wick movies now uh, I own both of them so I've seen them five times each so I'm an expert uh, and I can do all of that sitting in my chair with my eyes closed using my imagination so, but I may step out and we'll go through some basic things with this, maybe the draw, 
and um, some quadrant cuts and uh, you know maybe some uh, grip techniques things like that and we'll show it off um, and of course you're going to get an in-depth here on the intrigue and then I'm going to give one of them away uh, and that will be courtesy of Steel Wheel and courtesy of Baz on Blades because I actually like both of these and want to keep them so we will see what we see all right guys as always thank you for taking the time to watch one of my videos god bless all of you and we will talk to you again